Hey, Krabby Cakes. Hello, hello, Cancer. I hope that you're doing great, feeling blessed and highly favored. My name is Marie. I'm the energy behind this channel. All right, so Cancer, we're going to be doing a general reading here for you. Let's see what's popping. Let's see what wants to come out. Um, we're going to be looking into the energies that you're going to be claiming when it comes to your overall energy and, of course, uh, when it comes to love. All right, so we're going to do a past, present, future energy and other goodies. All right, so let's see what's going on here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Crosswalker, Snoopity, Snoops. All righty, give me one second. That's my cat playing with, I don't know what, one sec. Okay, um, where were we? We're getting your past, present, future energy. Let's see what else comes through. All right, let's see what's going on here for Cancer and the recent past, please. Thank you so much. Two energies, okay. All right, you have the strength and you have the aid of Ariel. So you're taking great pride into everything that you're doing. Some of you are looking into um, exercising a career, changing career, but here's about making practice perfect, considering getting additional education, additional training, uh, but really, bringing the best out of you when it comes to finances, career, um, and situations, when it comes to also becoming a better person. I mean, you are definitely doing the work. I do see that you've forgiven something here of the past. Let me get just one place when it comes to present energy, please. Um, of course, Cancer always, always does this to me when you guys get extra cards. You're like, read me for filth. Okay, I will. Um, but within the energy, it does seem like whatever did happen in the past, you chose to forgive a situation, a particular someone, um, whatever was happening, you were very considerate of outside resources, external energies, people that may have to do with a particular situation here. It does seem like you took consideration of others' needs and just chose to walk away or be the bigger person. But now within the current energy, you have the Knight of Michael. That is a Nine of Sword energy. So something definitely is worrying you. You're maybe even thinking of worst case scenario when it comes into other things here. There are some regrets, okay? You're being called to release any feelings of regrets, any guilt, any worry, anxiety, um, there's something that did not or is not playing out in your favor here. Oh, my beautiful cancer. What's going on, baby? All right. We'll definitely clarify that energy. You, you, you kind of had a fallout with someone or things did not play out accordingly how you wanted them to play out here. Okay. Oh, definitely. This has to do with it. Give me finances, please. Thank you. And give me the energy here with the overall energy claiming. Ace of Ariel. Listen, honey. Let me tell you. You have the King of Raphael at the bottom of the deck. So that's definitely having a balance in your emotions and how you're handling things. Okay. Um, let me just clarify here a little bit more for you. Thank you, Spirit. When it comes to love. Perfect. You're choosing peace overall. Bottom of the deck is peace. Okay. It is difficult to say here, okay? Because I want you to, to trust in your choices, Cancer. The worry that you have right now is unnecessary, regardless of whatever is taking place, whatever is happening. We see how there's this, this owl coming in into the picture. So it's asking for you to use your wisdom. And regardless of whatever is that you're overthinking, overanalyzing, that will represent wisdom, ability to see things, obviously using your psychic senses. I mean, if anybody would have them, would be you. Um, but here it's like uh, calling the divine, your angels, your guides, whomever's that you believe in, 
whatever you cannot work through or cannot release. It's like, here is, you know, this burden. I try to do my best with it, but I can't. Uh, within the future energy, you have the 10 of Michael. So you're definitely going to be releasing whatever is storming in your mind, whatever is bugging you, whatever situation is there. But do know that it takes from one space into the next. So you're going to have to be in this space where, you know, you're not allowing yourself to be deterred by the difficulty of a situation. Um, a situation has ended, a cycle has ended, and you're definitely on the last phase of this. And I will tell you here, you chose the high road. You chose to take responsibility in your situations, connections, relationships, work, whatever it is this here for you. And you're choosing love and responsibility together to try to communicate honestly, be dedicated to a situation, particularly that you're working here. The communication is has been established, given by you, but somebody's blocking it. Somebody's not being as honest or as dedicated. Of course, you live and you learn. But here it is asking for you to acknowledge that you must learn to love yourself and that love requires responsibility, and you've done that. And I'm going to tell you here, within whatever comes in next, within the next few days, few weeks for some of you, don't let that hold you back, okay? You are in a very stable energy position. Don't let others' decisions, others' actions, you know, turn you away from whatever is coming forward here for you. You're going to have this balance, this peaceful energy where you are connected in spirit, in the physical as well. very beautiful energy with the seven of cup new options new things coming in new ways of doing anything that you have in mind here and i love the energy that you have here for peace because you're not letting it bug you at the end of the day or the end of the month you're going to be doing what you need to do what is best for you here see bottom of the deck we have surrendering to the wisdom of your body to whatever is that you're receiving here other people External energies are seeing you here with the six of Gabriel. Um, that is a six of wand. And we have the nine of Gabriel here. Um, they're going to see that you're going to be staying determined, definitely on flight mode or fight mode for some of you. But you're choosing to move forward. You're preparing. You have prepared well. Um, and you're choosing any possibility that looks abundant for you. Um, you're going to be definitely doing things for you now. With the six of Gabriel, it's like you're not giving a rat's ass with anybody in the public, whatever around in the eye. Anybody who has an eye on you, you're not going to let that hold you back. You're definitely looking forward and getting some sort of award, scholarship, promotion, um, moving into something grander, bigger in connections, situationships, relationships, whatever have you. You know, this is a time to move into your next project, into whatever it is that you need or want in your heart to move forward. And it's like here, we see how there's the blue, right? Here's like the mental struggles. You're going to receive that balance. I have any of the archangels that you connect to. I don't want to say just a specific archangel. Archangel Ariel definitely showing up in your read, by the way. But with this, it's like passion reignited with this um, energy that we receive here. And we see how there is two blue energy. Again, that is air energy. We do have the king and the king and the queen of swords, king and queen of Michael, which says that you're able to use your logic and yet your in your in, uh, psychic abilities. I mean, your masculine brain, feminine brain. Okay, where you're able to work with both yes maybe not at the same time but you're going to be using both sides of your brain um and getting yourself to be more self-reliant with yourself more rational and being very creative there we go the feminine brain creative assertive it's like you're believing in magic and anything that is possible and that's very very beautiful regardless of what other people think or may see you you might not be as social or wanting to reconnect but it's like you have regrouped yourself going to be regrouping yourself you're not going to let this situation you know, mess you up here because your challenge here is the King of Michael, which is um, letting your 
wisdom or things of the past block you and you're no you're choosing the high road especially with the energy you're choosing to trust and staying in your integrity whatever a situation is that you're going through you're saying i am no matter whatever happens with the seven of pentacles um i'm going to wait if it could be a relationship it could be a person you're not going to let that hold you back from whatever is that you need this is even about situations when it comes to twin flames soulmates whatever have you but with this energy here, it's like, was this even worth the pursuit, the weight, the struggles? No, you're going to choose you. You're going to choose your rational mind. You're going to choose um, your ambitious mind, which maybe you're ambitious to even have peace. You're not going to let anybody steal that from you. Like, I'd rather be respected than be anybody's toy. And here within the situation, you're not letting anybody call out your next point of action. You're taking control of that. Congratulations. And this energy, I love it. I know we always tease about it. Freaking Knight of Pentacles, we call it the turtle. But if you need anybody, any of the knights to come through for you, I sometimes love, I'm not going to lie, the Knight of Swords because that's my Chismoso card giving me the tea. It's like, gay, hey, give me the tea, whatever it is. But freaking Knight of Pentacles. We got to respect the Knight of Pentacles for real. It will get you to your destination. It will give you whatever is that you're deserving of, whatever you've called for. It is worth the wait. And within the Eight Pentacles now showing up here for this space, it's like regardless of whatever happens, you're going to receive your abundance. You're going to receive that closure and with it, you receive the, the you ride in the wave of abundance. Here within, let's see. What are your call to action to surrender? You have to surrender. You need to be always right. Maybe you don't have to be fighting or arguing with the person trying to show your point. If they don't want to listen, they don't want to listen. Look, you got the death card, renewal, doing things differently. Let your body tell you what's popping, what's happening. Listen to your body's message about a person or a situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you're energized and happy, move forward with whatever is going on, whatever you got going on, or call to action with that person, right? King of Wands, you have the experience. Go for it. Go for it. All right. So let's see what energy you're going to be claiming. I love it. And your overall energy, you're going to be claiming to lighten your load and you're choosing new resources. Congratulations to you. This could even be for some of you. Of course, a change of job or promotion, handling situations differently, not taking so much responsibility or stress or something that is not yours, problems that are not yours. You're choosing to stop solving issues for others that yet are maybe not grateful of this. With the Ace of Ariel, it is telling you there is longevity in a project in a situation that is coming here because you're choosing you you're choosing to let go of this responsibility of whatever it is this load this burden and you're choosing peace overall um and this energy itself will help you see things and experience things in life from a different perspective this can even be about you not worrying so much about tomorrow's but being in the now you're making shit happen some of you wanting to travel um have different projects starting a business a career not self-sabotaging anymore doing things for you seeing the bigger picture this is beautiful the energy that comes to love okay when it comes to love, you have the energy, you're going to be claiming the energy of trust. Where here, you're going to be trusting yourself and your decision making. If you're like, okay, I got to let this person go, I'm going to let it go. I'm insightful of who I am. I'm seeing what I bring to the table. And here with the Queen of Michael, she knows what she brings to the table. Right? Some of you may be going through some sort of divorce, um, but allowing yourself to 
think differently, see things differently, might be more engaged in being in a situation when it comes to work. With the yellow roses there, it does speak about somebody entering the space of wanting to be friends first, getting to know a person from who they are um, and what they bring to the table, who are they at the soul level, heart level. Um, and this is because of having the benefit of experiences where you step into this self-trusting energy where you're not going to let anybody else steal that piece i love this you're going to let other people show you who they are especially like here with this um page of swords people always show us who they are we choose to ignore the red flags but here's like trusting their intuition with the moon and you have the page of cups that letting that inner voice guide you i love this that inner compass is never wrong never wrong when it comes to finances, career, you have this five of Ariel. What is this telling us? This is telling us here, you need it to go through your current challenges alone, okay? You don't need to go through your current challenges alone. You're maybe you're trying to pay the bills off by yourself. You have too much responsibility. Do know that help is nearby. Um, please don't let negative thoughts stay for too long to visit. As soon as they're popping up, hey, thank you, goodbye. No, I don't need you, goodbye. Um, thank you, divine. Thank you, universe. This is because negative thoughts create create negative self fulfilling prophecies. So just keep that in mind. Two of Swords. Okay. So it's like things will get better once you become more stable with yourself and as you're trusting yourself. Okay. Your overall energy when it comes to what's coming out here with your outcome, you have the chariot. Your energy. You're going to be extremely, extremely successful i already said it this is the universe's uber regardless of how it comes like this like this like this always success comes here okay your determination and self-control will bring you great abundance it's like having acknowledgement by others as well being very reliant uh people find you very trustworthy um and you will have the career advance advancement for those of you wanting to have that career advancement Ace of Pentacles comes to you again, as well as with the Queen of Wands. You knowing what to do. You are brilliant. You are that baddie B, regardless if you're a man or a female. Um, but here it's like you're very intuitive and you're choosing happiness overall with whatever it's taking place. Yes, it will be safe for you to trust. You have the ability to accomplish many, many things. So Cancer, if you enjoyed the reading, please press the like button. I'll see you again next time. Namaste.